So this is a review of Balearic or Balearic slingers. Um, you might like to know that the plastic isn't recyclable, but the card stock is, and there's great artwork. Nobody gives a fuck about that. That is not what people are watching. What they wanna know is what do they look like and what can you make out of them? So the Balearic slingers are Victrix models and they are fantastic. Victrix are by far the best models you can get. Out of the packet, you get 12 little guys you can put into a ver uh, variety of poses from uh, look guys who are loading the sling with another shot in action, in poses, uh, they're brilliant. But what I really wanted to do is tell my nine viewers that my project for a Rome Total War Hail Caesar is not done and dusted. It's not dead in the water. I haven't got my board yet. That's ongoing. However, everything I did order, I pretty much painted up and I've put in another massive order. So two packets of Roman legions will get you three 16 man units. So that's 160 by 40. And these are my Roman legions, almost good to go. The only thing I need to do on these guys is uh, a little bit of gold on the helmet and then obviously the basin. Likewise, Roman legions advancing. What can you expect from that pack? Yeah, great models. We all know that because they're Victrix. Um, the most expensive thing here is getting all the shield transfers from Little Big Man Studios, but it's worth it because they're brilliant. It adds to your models. And as you can see now, I've got three units of advancing uh, Roman legions. Uh, Firestorm Games is where I'm getting my models from at the minute. Very cheap, very good, reliable. And um, tell you what stock lot. Uh, stock levels they've got as opposed to uh, Wayland Games so that's what I'm going to no issues with them um, two packets of any Victrix will probably get you three units and likewise Gallic Fanatics I bought these it says 24 I've, I've spread them out the basins are not fantastic but I've got two units out of this, and that's good enough for Hell Caesar, so I'm happy with that. Um, are they good models? Yes. Shield transfers, brilliant. The size of them are great. My seven-year-old daughter's able to paint them to good standards. I've just got into contrast paints. They really help um, speed up. I wouldn't have been able to do all of this in the last two weeks if I had a contrast paints. What else have I been able to do? Warriors of Carthage. One bag consisted of a number of troops. So I was able to build uh, Libby Phoenician spearmen I was, uh, at the back there. So these two here at the back, and these are the veterans, or maybe the other way around, I don't know. Elephants, two elephants for 30 quid. Possibly quite pricey, 10 quid on top of that for uh, Little Big Band Studios transfers, but you've got two elephants that look good. Good size, relatively, uh, go, to, go together quite well. And they're good models. I'm happy with that. And you're also able to make, out of that, two six-man... If you want to, they could be Numidians or Libby Phoenician, skirmishers, javelin men. Um, so you get a unit of uh, skirmishers out there as well. Two units of the Carthaginian citizen infantry. Uh, a bit of a kit bash using some of the things from elephants, um, using a Praetorian guard, lion, um, What are you going to call it? Cape? Skin? Using them, I've able to make three 16-man units. 
again, little big man studios. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. And then at back, one pack of Numidian cavalry. That yellow looks really bright, but it's not. Uh, so I made Numidian cavalry. Where else did I buy then? So I bought armoured and unarmoured Iberian cavalry. Uh, yeah, Iberians and cavalry. So there's the cavalry. Good looking models. And then you get to build four units of Kentratii and then two units of 60 man Scutarii. Um, these were the first models I tried contrast paints on so they're not as good as i'd wanted them but if you were to look at each one as an individual i'm pretty happy with them they'll do tabletop standard that's what it's all about contrast paints are the way forward that is the best thing i've ever discovered um painting up Units and units in days. Um, my Romans, I was able to do literally a whole unit from start to finish in a single day, a couple of hours, done. Not many paints, and I'll take over to the paint station. So there's the Balearic Slingers, so that's my second wave of orders. Macedonian Greek successor heavy cavalry. I'm not collecting Macedonians, so they're going to be, as it tells you, on the back. Oh, Bucephalus is falling over. I'm going to have Thessalian Noble Cavalry and then just Greek uh, Heavy Cavalry. And as you can see with the white primer in the background, I've got a unit of uh, Greek Light Cavalry and then a Greek uh, Thessalian Cavalry with their little hats on. Greek Peltasts, two units. So the Greek Peltasts, the skirmishes and the archers came out of the um, the box set of um, Greeks. It's like thirty six quid from a second hand, uh, not second hand store, a second source supplier. The little big man studio chances don't go on that easily onto these guys, but they look good. Once they're all painted up, they'll be fine. So they're my last batch to do, including um, basing. And then I've got a few little touch-ups on my Romans. So that, that is everything I, I suppose pledged to do done. That was all in one or two, well, two orders that came over a couple of days and I've done it. I'm happy and now I've got a massive list of other stuff I want to do. So on the painting table is my mass stunning cavalry, the heavy cavalry to get built and put up and then all the contrast paints that I've bought they're all from Alchemist Workshop. They are the cheapest paints you can find. And they're a game changer. Absolutely brilliant. Everything needs a base coat of white primer. Get that from Wilco, QD, Halfords, wherever you're going to get it from. A couple of quid. Get the, uh, the contrast paints on and, and you're winning. So, so good. And then what we're looking at is the two cabinets. Oh. Don't show the face. All the ghouls. So there's three chariots, six units of medium infantry. This this unit here is the the nobles, and with Rome Tight War, they're going to be the oath sworn. A unit of skirmishes, I've got Germanic cavalry, and then other slingers, and then the rest of the ghouls over here. I don't know if you can see that too well. So, resin trays, they come from Battles of Minches. You're looking at a, literally a pound or so for a unit of 16. So pretty much everything, one pound 80 maybe for this one, which is 160 by 80. 
All my cavalry are on 50 by 50 mil bases, two of them in a 100 by 100 uh, resin tray. And this is my Hell Caesar project. What's next is going to be uh, ordered Dacians. They're going to be on the way. I've ordered Republican cavalry to turn into uh, Carthaginian cavalry. I want to get another three units of Roman infantry plus auxiliary plus Roman cavalry. I want to get Numidian infantry to have a Numidian army. Um, these are, are basically Illyrian, so I'm going to use some of the Dacians to make uh, Illyrian Romphori. Um, I want to do a Seleucid, so there's a lot more in the pipeline. Collecting the armies, whilst I still deliberate on what kind of board I want to use as the campaign board. Now, my previous project didn't go to plan. I couldn't get the scales right, I couldn't get the terrain right. So I've considered 3D printing. I've also considered just using old fashioned, print out a map of Rome Total War exploded to um, fit inside a paint and decorate table, sort of decorate, paint that map without the contours and the relief because it doesn't really affect the campaign. Like a risk board wouldn't affect anything and then um, go from there. But this is it and I'm pretty happy. So eight weeks work, I've got all my Romans, all my Carthaginians, all of my Spanish, apart from the new stuff, all of my Greeks, Illyrians, I see you seen the Gauls. So yeah, I've got, <laughs> I want to make armies for Syracuse, so I've got Greek mercenaries on the way, um, I've now got the cavalry for the Syracusan forces. Um, I've got Numidians on the way, so I've have a Numidian army. I've ordered uh, Successor Kingdom, pikemen, some more elephants. All of this is from Victrix. And then I've from Grip and Beasts, they do scythe chariots. Um, so they're going to come in. And they're going to be supporting the Seleucid uh, Empire. And then I've also got Persian archers coming who are going to supplement it. Um, the scythe chariots, I'll try and use them for my Galatians as well. So that's Galatians nipped. Um, I've got Spartans, Athenians, mercenary hoplites coming. So I'm going to have, I'll be able to make a lot of the Greek city states. And I'm hoping lockdown two is just going to effect, which is scuppered things. But by Christmas, thereabouts, be able to start the Rome Tech War campaign. And as long as the players are separated by a bit of distance, then it shouldn't really come into contact with another similar faction. I've got Dacians arriving. One one bag I've bought, another one I'm gonna buy. I've got Germans arriving. Almost there to make every single faction possible, apart from like the Far East and then all the horse archers for like Scythians and Moxolani. Um, but I haven't found a good and cheap supply of plastics for that. Um, and if anyone could tell me, I'd love to know. So, my project's not dead. I've been busy. And um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. I was in bed and then I watched the video and it just pissed me off. So I decided to get everything out and um, put it on display. But thanks for watching. Um, any comments or feedback, put it in. If you know where to get decent cataphracts from, from a Seleucid Empire or 
Anyway, it's better than Grip and Beast for Soft Chariots. Um, let me know. Appreciate it. And if you think I'm missing any factions that I should consider, again, please leave a comment. Let me know. But as we stand, literally, all of that is Victrix, and I um, I wouldn't go anywhere else. Absolutely brilliant. All right, thank you very much. See you soon.